welcome back to my channel lady t here good morning good afternoon good evening whenever time you're gonna watch this video i salute you <sighs> to my subscribers i just want to say thank you guys for your love and support thank you for watching my videos thank you for commenting thank you for sharing and if you're new thank you so much for stopping by and i hope you subscribe and join the join the family and if you're just coming across my my channel please do want to subscribe comment and remember to put on your notification bell okay i love you guys so much and today we'll be talking about my experience so far here in um kisumu kenya i'm originally nigerian and we moved from the u.s to kenya for um for work and so far so good it's been amazing and there are different shock that i've gotten when i got here but i'm just gonna share a few with you guys i don't know i, I think i have like four or five six um culture shock that i've gotten here in kenya which is really amazing so but the first one is food you know nigerians nigerians we eat fufu gari ikusi obono unubu name them but here in Kenya, it's different. West African food is different from um, East African food, you know. And they do ugali, um, fish, nyamachoma. Um, I've forgotten what they call their vegetables though. But um, yeah, they have really, really nice food. I love the fish. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, they call it, they have the wet dry fish. And uh, I've forgotten the other one. I think it's dry, dry fry. Fry fry. Yeah, I like the dry fry, and then I just put a little spice on it. And I love spices, so I love fish. So sometimes we'll go to there's this fish point here in Kisumu, it's called um Dunga Hill. Oh my, the fish is nice too. So I usually get the fish and fries, and the kids they get um fries and chicken, so you know, but it's nice. So the first three months we were here, it was it was hard because we couldn't find red oil you know we use red oil to make our soups but they weren't um we weren't able to find any even at the store the markets nothing like that so we just had to like you know order from nairobi and then pay for bus to deliver the the, the, the item and there is no dry fish there is no stock fish there is no crayfish all this good good stuff is not here you know <laughs> but we had to survive basically we we few months later we traveled to nigeria for my um um mother-in-law funeral then on, on our way back after the funeral and everything we, we got a few items that we needed and we make it we made our soup we made a pussy we made up and you know good good stuff with our with our west african items you know but yeah um the foods are really way 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 different i have tried the vegetable it's really good i usually use the vegetable to eat rice you know but i haven't tried ugali i need to try ugali <laughs> seriously i haven't tried ugali i've tried the vegetable the fish um yamachoma it's really good i call it chomachoma i don't know it sounds funky to me but i don't think i think it's goat meat fried goat meat but it's how they put do the sauce it's nice then I'm looking at my notes um, the second one is here is the driving hi Kenyans cannot drive they do not know how to drive hmm? the most annoying part is that they drive on the right hand side and me coming from the US we drive on the left hand side so it took me time to you know to adjust and when I'm going back again it will also take me time to adjust, you know? <laughs> Why? Well, hey, this is life. But seriously, guys, Kenyans do not know how to drive. Seriously. And then talk about the, the, the bike, the, the boda boda, the, the um, tuk tuk. That's what they call it here. We call it kekena pepe. You know, and the downfall drivers. I forgot what they call their downfall driver. The bus drivers. It's, it's hard. I just even to drive on the road is just so scary because you see bike here to Wakada here, uh, uh, 
kekena pepe boda boda on both sides trying to you know overtake on do all those things and they overtake a lot hey in nigeria i have never driven in nigeria I've, I've only driven in the u.s and driving in in kenya for the first time in an african country it's surprising because we know africa we are so aggressive boop, 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 boop. Oh, come on <laughs> but yeah so the driving it's it's scary and there's so much accidents here going on on the road but god help us <laughs> yeah the third one is the weather kisumu weather it's unpredictable you can't even predict kisumu weather today is hot tomorrow is, is, is cold or it's chilly i don't even know which one to call but when it's hot hey my brothers and sisters it looks like you're in hellfire. Your soul, your body, everything is burning. Say for around 11, 12, 1 o'clock, that, around that uh, lunch time, you go outside. Ha! Ah, it's very hot. But, you know, so far, I've, I've, I've tried to endure the heat. But it's good. Nairobi is cold, which is okay. But there's no day you not go to Nairobi that is not cold. Every time Nairobi is cold. But here in Kisumu, day in, day out, the weather is hot. You can't predict. Even when it's rain, after rain, it is still hot. <laughs> but yeah, that's shocking. That's shocking. Yeah. <laughs> the fourth one is money. Transaction here is easy. And it's really, really nice that there's mobile transaction, you know. If you don't have cash, like there's... We use dollar and here you have to go find Kenya shillings which is what they use here so you once you use your mobile um, money you can just they use the pesa here so you do pesa you collect the person's number and send the money direct and you make a payment and you go and also we uh, we also use our credit cards so you know shop which is US dollar so once you go to the store you can use your credit card or your debit card or whatever to pay and they still charge you in dollar and give you a good um, bank rate. So that's a plus. That's good. Check it out. I, I, I'm, I don't know if I've used my card in Nigeria to, you know, make payments. But for the mobile one, mobile um, banking, um, the Mpesa, it would be nice if Nigeria have, um, you know, work on that in era thing. It will help. Instead of going to the bank, you're standing on the queue and you're trying to look for POS, you're trying to go to ATM and then the line is like long like this and you know, you just need to get like a thousand or five thousand there and then it's taking like five years to finish. <laughs> you know, people can use your mobile and just send you money, people sharp sharp, everything go. But yeah, that's another shocking um, experience I had with the payments. And then music. Music. Ha! Huh. Can you people like Nigerian musical? They like them die left right up down middle ninja ninja music left and right ninja music left and right there is no where you will go in kenya you won't hear nigerian music seriously at the pool at the function at the bar where name them ninja Kenya people are very nice though they're amazing they're fun they like to party they go clubbing, they stay in club for like 5 a.m. 6 a.m. Uh uh, I know they sleep. <laughs> so they love Nigerian music and they club a lot, you know. So it's amazing to go to a different country. But now they're playing a Nigerian song and you know the beating. They see for body. They see for body. Seriously. And also they love um, Nigerian movies. Seriously, people that I've met. When you tell them that when I tell them that I'm Nigerian, like, oh, you're Nigerian. My sister, ah, on a movie sweet though. And the person starts speaking pigeon to me. I'm like, eh? are you sure you're Kenyan? So yeah. So she has watched a lot of Nigerian movies and she can even speak pigeon and Igbo language as well. So Kenyans are they're amazing. Ninja. Another thing again is Kenyan women, they have already confessed though. They love Nigerian men. Eh? See me, see wahala. Kenya women like Nigerian men. I don't hear. Nigerian men are not too much. What you gonna do? But yeah, they love Nigerian men. So it's it's amazing. Niger, make gonna come. Come, come, come. Kenya women are looking for you guys. 
but guys it's been an amazing time here in kenya and i'm still enjoying kenya i'm still enjoying kisumu for the time being and my experience has been nice you know amazing and guys if there are other things that are, if there are things i didn't mention that um you've visited kenya before and you know that you've experienced put it in the comment section let's you know comment and chat about it you know <laughs> Well, guys um it's been amazing and i hope, I hope you, you guys love this video please like comment share and subscribe i will see you all on my next video bye for now